continue. A welcome find. It's a huge bird made of fire! You can see its touch with torture person! And steer clear of its flames while attacking! This is your end! I was going to go up in flames like a pile of dried leaves back there. The Benevadon probably isn't far. We're coming, fire spirits. <sighs> The 
you go. Oh, not bad. This is the last Benevidon. We've been doing this for a while now, huh? Yes, though we cannot rest on our laurels. Check the resources you have on hand. I'll be taking this. Don't mind if I do. We need your help. Oh, there. Now we can do this. Hey, the Dud Bears will love this. This? Let's collect ourselves before we set off. No sign of the Benevadon of Fire. What's wrong, Salamando? You don't look so... hot. Ugh. Well, without much mana power to fall back on, I'm losing steam. Ohms, don't go down without a fight. Careful, or this volcano could blow out of control. That's a lot of pressure, Salamando. This is the final Benevidon, so we gotta see this through. We can't lose. I'm not gonna let Hina down like that. We will beat this. Speak of the monster! Looks like our Benevidon friend has arrived! Take this! Good 
That's how it's done! Dorfer ought to settle down now, too. That's a load off my back and my mind, for that matter. Thanks for everything you've done for us, Salamando. It ain't over yet! Don't forget about Delafos' curse. You still got work to do! You're right. Delafos can't be ignored any longer! Ha <laughs> ha! That's the ticket! Your fighting spirit is hotter than Dorfer at its meanest! And don't you forget it! I'm impressed! That's all the Benevidons stopped in their tracks! I think it's time to regroup with the Alm of Darkness. Before that, there's something I need to do. I have to let the village know everything's okay. And talk to Hina's parents. Val, you and the Alms have performed most admirably. Thank you for everything. You truly are a hero to us all. A... Uh, a hero? I just wanted to help my home. As long as I manage that, I'm glad. Will you make for the mana tree once more? Not yet. I... still have unfinished business here in Tiania. I gotta stop off at Hina's. Just... wait here for me, okay? Sure thing. Take your time. Please give her parents our warm regards. We'll be here. Hina... I hope her folks are home. Hi, it's been a while. Val, what a surprise. Welcome home. How was your trip to the mana tree? Oh, uh, not finished quite yet. Actually, I came here to talk to you two about something. Something serious. During our journey, Hina... She passed on. She... what? But how? It was my fault. Protecting her was my responsibility, and... I failed. I... as good as killed her myself. Val. <sighs> I am so sorry. Please. I'll accept any punishment. Just say it. Dorfer's behavior has been strange for a while now. I'd had a bad feeling about it from the start. Guess my gut was right. It's hard to put into words, but even though I was so happy for Hina, and wished for her success on the pilgrimage. At the same time, she deserved to have a normal life just like everyone else. I understand, sir. After the festival, we were so very proud to see that Hina was chosen to be the Alm. 
No one in the village was more pleased on her behalf than we were when we saw her off on the journey. But after she left, our lives felt less vibrant. I thought about her no matter what I did. I'd remember her laugh, her frustrations, her tears. Most of all, I'd remember her smile. That's when it hit me. I had wanted Hina to be in our lives forever. I suppose you don't always realize how important someone is until they're gone. Ma'am, I... Val, never doubt how much Hina wanted to be by your side. Days before the festival, Hina would ask us how long we thought the pilgrimage would take. How long until you'd return from the mana tree. She fretted over whether you might settle down in a different village after you were done, like Liza. Didn't she, dear? Once she was appointed as the Alm, she was up all night, excited for the journey ahead. She said traveling the world with you was like a dream come true. And that's why we're grateful that you were there for Hina. Thank you, Val. I thought... You two would never forgive me for what happened to her. <laughs> this is almost worse. I... I wish someone would treat me like the villain. Val, listen to me. She isn't gone. Hina will always be with you, in your heart. You carry her will. She lives on through your deeds. That's right. You're living for the both of you now. We want you to thrive for Hina's sake. Will you do that for us? to think of it, Val. I believe Hina left a letter for you before you set out on the pilgrimage. <laughs> a letter? For me? That's right. But when I asked where she put it, she said it was a secret between the two of you. Then she made us promise to tell you about the letter when you returned, and reminded us several times before your departure. Did she leave it in the thicket outside of town? Oh, <laughs> so that was your secret rendezvous spot, huh? You'd better get there fast before we find it first. Go on now. <laughs> Thanks. I'll be sure to check. You're the best. Our spot. It's gotta be the thicket outside the village. I'm coming, Hina. brings back memories. Huh. This is where I first met Hina. <laughs> I remember she was reading a book when I ran up. A monster had made it into the village, and I was trying to chase it off. I had only just started to learn swordsmanship at the time. I won, but Liza and Master Fugo still got mad at me. <laughs> I cried, but at least I managed to defeat the monster in the end. Ah, 
Aha. I found it, Hina. Yep. That's her writing, all right. Dear Val, if you are reading this, then I'm sure you've safely returned home from the pilgrimage to the mana tree. If all went well, then I am now a part of the world's mana power and watching over you. I decided to leave you this letter now that we've both fulfilled our duties. After all, if I know you, I'm sure you're feeling down about having to let me go to the mana tree. This way, you'll have a little something to remember me by. And read if you're ever feeling lonely. I can't help but wonder, as I sit here and write this down, how your life is gonna be 10, 20 years down the road. The only regret I have, now that I've been named the Elm, is that I won't be around to see it myself. Yeah, I know it's selfish of me to think like that. Val, just remember that you have friends you can rely on. People who support you in everything you do. I know you'll be okay, even when I'm gone. Just keep going. Try things you never thought you'd do. Meet people from faraway lands. There's no end to the adventures you will have. I love this beautiful, spirit-blessed world of ours. I love it because it's where we were born, and where my wonderful parents and everyone else we've met lives. Not to mention, it's where I met you, Val. So I'll leave you with this. The future is yours. All I want for you is to live your life in the way that's best for you. That's my wish. Love, Hina. Hina always did know me too well. Better than anyone. I wish we could have been together in the end. This feeling probably won't ever disappear completely. But that's okay. I'll treasure it. I'll keep Hina with me. Wherever I go. Sorry for the wait. Let's head to Lagrazzo. You ready, Ranko? You look more sure of yourself than before, Val. I found a bit of myself that I'd been missing. Now I can finally move forward. Come on! Lagrazzo's waiting! Curious. Just as I feel I'm closing in on the answer, more information arrives and throws off my hypothesis. Uh, I cannot rest until I figure this out. Ish! We did it! We beat the Benevidons! 
Congratulations. <laughs> Though I never doubted that you would be able to dispatch with them, it is good to hear. Master Aish, you do not appear to have received the requisite hours of repose. I assure you, I have gone through far longer stints without sleep. And who could relax when there's so much data to evaluate? But enough about me. I have something I must tell you all. I have tracked the fluctuations in mana power to Entwine Bridge Pass. If the Benevidons are no longer a threat, then there's only one entity it could possibly be. Delafos. Say, is that not the specific span where Delafos swore to be together with Cerulea? We should go if we want any chance to stop him before he enacts his revenge. You sound worried. We just took out all eight legendary monsters. How hard can an ancient hero be? Strictly speaking, we don't even have to defeat the guy, as long as we can get the mana sword away from him. For this venture, I shall accompany you. I could not live with myself if I missed the opportunity to witness the historic reclaiming of the... You should be resting, not venturing. I... <sighs> merely fatigued. I will be fine, as long as I avoid fights and focus on my report. I know how important it is to leave behind a record for history. This is for the future of Lagrazzo, Terratio, and the people across the land. Their hopes and dreams have gotten us this far. No matter how strong Delafos has become, we will fight. It's time for us to take back the Mana Sword. Delafos has got to be what's causing the disturbance at Entwine Bridge Pass, but we can't leave unprepared. Let's take stock before we go. Use the meridian to travel.
Dilophos. I see. The fact that you are here must mean that the Benevidons have failed. However, your luck has run out. You will fall beneath my blade, as will the goddess. But why do you hate her so much? We know that Cerulea passed away before her time. But that doesn't explain why you turned your sights on the mana goddess. Not only the goddess. I cannot forgive a single soul in this miserable plane. I did as I was bid. I subdued the Benevidon threat. All I asked for in return was to continue my peaceful life with Cerulea thereafter. That was my one wish. Why, after all that I did, after all that I suffered, why steal my future from me? She ripped my love from me and with it all meaning in my life. Why should I have to forgive? Why should I not seek vengeance on the goddess, on the world? With this sword, I will cleave this feckless, worthless, senseless realm! No! I won't let you! What is lost is the world in which we fester. It must be burned of all of you. And I shall be the one to do it. We won't let you destroy anything, Data Folk. You can't avoid it or get away with the dead one. Nowhere to hide. <laughs>
Why protect a goddess who cares not for you? Without the goddess, the whole world would disappear. Remember yourself. Utter destruction isn't what Cerulean would have wanted. You presume to know Cerulea's heart? Look at this world you would protect! This broken world feeds on souls to rejuvenate the flow of mana. A society built on the backs of the alms sacrifice. Mortals happily accept these deaths as a part of the natural order. You fools are ensnared in the goddess's trap. Nothing more than slaves to her vision. No! The goddess wants a future for everyone. That's why she entrusted us with its protection. Otherwise, she wouldn't have given us a choice. From the very start, these sacrifices were a choice that we mortals made for the good of the world. We've been deciding our own fate all along. Just give me the mana sword, Delafos. Its purpose was never revenge. It's a beacon of hope given to us all by the goddess herself. Oh. Hope, is it? Yes. This sword is the goddess's gift. And I was a fool. A fool to keep using this weapon of servitude! Not the sword! <laughs> I have no need of a limb granted by the goddess's pity. Ridiculous. 
to be brought to my knees by a band of naive whelps. You know nothing of pain, of loss. That's where you're wrong. I've also lost someone. Someone dear to me. And all this time, I've been thinking about the world and how we live in it. About the alms and their pilgrimage of sacrifice. About the soul guard guiding them to the mana tree. The tradition is so ingrained in our society that I never thought twice about what was being asked of us. On this journey, I realized that the important thing wasn't the act of sacrifice. It was the will shared by alms past and present to ensure a future for everyone. So many alms have given their souls to the mana tree, preserving mana power for the rest of us. Their strong hearts created a better tomorrow. That's why we will defeat you and carry on. To protect the next generation. <sighs> Drivel. I will not lose. I cannot. The goddess will feel my wrath! <laughs> Elementals! Protect the all! Silphid? What are you and the Elementals doing here? Thanks for saving us. Wait, where's Delophos? Not here, that's for sure. He's headed straight for the mana tree. I fear for the goddess's safety. Curses! We have to go after him. Hold on, think about it, all right? The mana sword is gone, and you know how strong Delophos is. True. The mana sword has broken in twain. <sighs> Even so, I'm going. Delophos must be stopped. our next stop. our next stop. Let's use the Meridian to travel. Happy doing business with you. I see 
be happy doing business with you. I see you happy doing business with you. I see you happy doing business with you. should be off. This... can't be the sanctuary. Oh, I see you have returned. Kuda! What happened to this place? De La Fosa's blight on the land has spread to the sanctuary. I never thought it could go so deep. Coda, the sword. De La Fosa broke the mana sword. So he really would go that far. I regret to say that mortals have no means to repair that sword. Chances are that De La Fosa has already lost his reason at this point. Nothing I have seen lately has retained its senses. And my strength is nearly at its limit. I have a final request for you all. Protect the goddess of mana. You think we have that kind of strength left? He's had us licked from the beginning. Since he first awakened, we've barely made a scratch. We couldn't reclaim the mana sword either. Still, I don't intend to give up. I don't care what it takes. I'm not letting De La Fos get away. I'll protect the goddess for you, Coda. Agreed. We will exhaust all our efforts to watch over the goddess of mana and the world at large. There is no precedent for an event such as this. I intend to chronicle every last detail. Coda, don't worry. We're not afraid of De La Fos, and we will save the mana goddess. I thank you. De La Fos's fate is in your hands. As is that of the goddess. You will see strange things in the Sanctuary from here on out. The rules of time and space have broken, causing rifts between reality and echoes of the past. Keep the Goddess of Mana foremost in your mind. Your heart will lead you down the right path. Understood. This isn't our first rodeo. We've managed on the journey so far. We must leave a detailed report of all the struggles we endured along the way. To do that, we gotta come out on top. So let's head to the Mana Goddess's side. <laughs> De La Fosa's hatred has caused such suffering in the sanctuary of all places. He has to be stopped, no matter what.
Careful. We aren't alone in here. Huh? Odd. Are you suggesting that other mortals are hiding in this jungle? Wait, that's Liza. There we go. Everyone okay? We're nearly to Verdius Burrow. Keep up the pace until we get there. After we pick up the Alm of Wood, we'll be going straight to the Sanctuary, right? <sighs> it's almost the end of our trip, Liza. You heading back to Tiania as soon as you drop us off? I thought I might take the long way. Travel a bit, you know? There's no one waiting at home anyway. Oh, that house was always too big, even for just the two of us sisters. I'm sorry I'll be leaving you all alone. Well, Orin was falling all over himself when you showed up with the alms in tow, so I think you should go back to Guju. Orin? Hmm. Maybe I will. He's not the type to give presents to just anyone, you know? He worked hard on that earring because he likes you. Oh. Do these earrings have a special meaning in your culture? Nah, it's just a good luck charm for a safe journey. But, Orin's a ceramicist, not a jeweler. Why else would he bother making something like that? I didn't know he made this himself. Hmm. Guess I'll have to go back to give proper thanks for it then. <laughs> oh, I see. Orin was pretty cute after all. Come on, <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> That's Liza from back when she was on Soul Guard duty. Time and space are warped in here, causing multiple timelines to merge together. It's as strange as Coda warned. So that was some kind of weird illusion then? A vision of alms from the past, I would wager. I wonder how vastly their journey to the mana tree differed from ours. Liza did go back to Guju after her duties were done. She and Orin were already pretty gone on each other, I guess. We know how that ended for the both of them. What a shame. Full strength. Huh. Don't mind if I do. The dud bears will love this. Nice, got it. Such malice was manifest in Dalefos's heart. That's how powerful emotions can be. It's impressive in a grim kind of way. Don't mind if I do. The dud bears will love this. Look at you got this is very valuable. information there's no precedent for any of this master Aish, do remember to rest moderation in all matters just stick with the group i can't watch over you if you get lost in the weeds <laughs> Hopefully we 
you get so impressed. Nice, got it. Come on! I don't mind if I do. I'm at full strength. Now, we test our strength! Don't mind if I do. All right. Let's use this path. Let's use this path. This journey has been shaped by the experiences of so many different people. We must keep moving forward to honor the prayers of those who paved the way for our pilgrimage. This? Nice, got it. What? The dud bears will love this. Nice, got it. I need 
Nice, got it. Don't mind if I do. Keep 
Defensive cover. That's all of them. Night and day. Hold on, everyone. It's Delafos. No, something about him is. Different. If these phantoms are echoes of the past, might this be a bygone version of Delafos then? Goddess, I will embark on this journey to subdue the Benevadon threat. Well aware am I of the dangers in my path. All I ask is that Cerulea is protected while I am away. For her sake and mine, that we may continue our lives together. I will defeat all eight monsters and bring peace to the world! The Delafos of legend. A perfect portrayal, as it was in Terratia's play. But in the end... He wasn't a hero at all. Heroes don't try to destroy the very thing keeping the world from falling into chaos. A truly terrible tale. 
Let us leave this bit of history and continue on our way. He looked every bit the hero back then. The perfect champion. Mentally, I know that's De La Fosse, but he just seems so... different. Delafos again? If we are in the Luca ruins, then this must be when he arrived to weaken the Benevidon of water. Shh! I'm trying to hear what he's saying! Jeez! How many Benevidons have I bested so far? I've lost count. With Gandum's defeat, the flood waters will recede, allowing the people to return once more. I hope you keep me in your thoughts, Cerulea, for you are never far from mine. It is over! We managed to defeat those monsters by working together, but Delafos had to do this all alone. All eight of those Benevidons? And by himself? That had to take some doing. Well, he had the mana sword and a lot of guts. Both were necessary to take care of all the Benevidons, I bet. The more we witness, the more my heart weeps. Hmm. I worry about what we'll see next.